So I'm finding myself asking him, what is, what are you trying to do by bringing up again so consistently over the last couple of months, the river? Well, it seems to me the only answer is, he's saying, I'm about, I'm about to release an, another surge of the river the river of my spirit and if he if, if that's what's happening whenever he does it in history and now or in the future whenever he does that he does it through us I remember when I, I, I went some of you won't even know what I'm talking about but others but that's okay that way I can even exaggerate and you won't know it but <laughs> no some of you will know what I'm talking about Toronto, when, the, when they had the outpouring up there for a few years. And I, I was up once to minister, uh, maybe a couple times, but the, this particular night I was about, I was going to speak, but during the first part of the service where they were just worshiping and then started praying for people, uh, no one was praying for me. I was sitting in my seat, just sort of waiting, meditating, thinking kind of just being quiet. But the pastor's wife, was it Carol? Carol or not, I think it's her name. So she had her hand up on the chair between us, just resting it on the back of the chair. And I was there, so she, she could reach my shoulder. And she just started doing this. Not to get my attention. I looked at her. She wasn't even looking at me. She was just praying. She, she wasn't leaving it there. I don't know what the tapping thing was all about, but she was tapping. She was just kept, kept doing this. And I thought, well, okay. Didn't feel anything. Didn't, wasn't trying to feel anything. Just thought, hey, if she wants to pray a blessing over me, I'll take it. She just kept tapping. I'm not talking about a minute or two. I'm talking about a half hour. Once in a while, they had this more Lord thing they would do. It was like, come on, can't you guys get any deeper than just more Lord? <laughs> so she's going, more Lord. I'm thinking. <laughs> and you know what Holy Spirit did? He started doing more. It was, he was listening to that. It was working. <laughs> One of their, the thing they felt like God told them to do over and over was keep it really simple. Don't complicate anything. Just let God do what he wants to do and don't try to make it, don't hype, don't uh, try to work anything up. Just keep it simple. So that's a lot of times how they would pray. They just say, more, Lord, more. Just do more. Give them more. Give them more. Give them more. Give them more. So she's doing it every now and then. She'd say, more, Lord, more, Lord. And then she just, well, after about 30 minutes, I was drunk. Do you have that expression down here, drunk as a skunk? I'm sitting in my chair just kind of like, I'm supposed to go up and speak in a few minutes. I'm looking at her going, uh, And she's just, more Lord, more Lord. <laughs> My point is, the river that was there wasn't just coming out of the chairs or the carpet, or not even really, most of the time, not even the atmosphere, although that happened. But more often than not, it was coming through a person. So I was there when John, it's probably the same night, starts praying for people and asking God to give them crowns and fillings, gold crowns and fillings. He had been to Argentina and he saw it happen. 
And he just, he, he, told, the, he told the testimony how, how people were getting these fillings and crowns and, and it was just, they were blessed. And he said, I wonder if God would do that here. This was bizarre to me. There was no faith in what he did whatsoever. There was only a faith in the goodness of God. He, he didn't even ask in faith. He said, I wonder if he would do it here. And then when he, he said, and the people just said, you know, clapped or something. And he said, well, let's just ask. And then he just, he just, he said something like, Lord, I don't know if you want to do this. But if you do, if you want to do some gold stuff here tonight, we just ask for it now. I thought, there ain't no faith in that. There ain't going to be any gold. Work with you got to get up and say, in the name of Jesus, I command fillings into your teeth. I was raised on faith. I know how to do this stuff, right? I'm thinking, well, that ain't going to get through the ceiling. So then he says, well, now start checking, you know, have your spouse or your friend look and see if anybody's got any feelings. And there's like 30 seconds where there's no, nobody saying anything. Then people start screaming. By the time, by the time they brought me up to speak, No exaggeration. There are 40 people ish, 40 ish people on the platform with cameras everywhere. Some of them are laying on the floor shaking with people over them going, More Lord, more Lord. <laughs> and there are flashlights, they're not on their phones, they didn't have it then. That was this way. They had flashlights, and people are on the This is a church service now where well, the worship's going on. There are 40 people going. And people like this with flashlights and cameras like this, and people screaming and then going, ah, and they're flopping on the floor. Oh, another crown over here. <laughs> so, so, I'm half drunk. This is still happening. Well, come on up, Dutch, and share the word. I'm having to step over people <laughs> who are flopping and people with flashlights. And, and I said, I can't speak in this. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to try to speak through that. Just get some more feelings in people, you know. Do so. <laughs> so So then people, some people receive them through the night. And some people checked their mouth and there was no filling, no crown, nothing. And then they said, either they looked in the mirror again or they had their friend look one more time. And when they looked the second time, there it was. And I watched this and I kept thinking, Lord, because I kept looking for a pattern, you know, because I'm always trying to figure out why. What's going on here? It's like, okay, maybe it would make sense to me if these, there are a bunch of poor people like here in a village somewhere and they can't afford or don't have a dentist and God just in his mercy is just healing teeth, you know, or giving them new teeth or crowns or fillings. No, no, some of these people may have been poor. Some of them were obviously wealthy. It didn't have anything to do with that. It was just, it was almost just like God was saying, oh, let's just have some fun tonight. <laughs> I'm serious. And I've got two crowns right here. And I kept telling the Lord, don't even think about it. I said, 
I got some crowns back here too. You can do, put gold on there if you want to, but don't even think about it. I kept my tongue on there just feeling it the whole time. But... I spent several days there. I went, on, I went up once just to, just to be there. I just wanted to go up and see what's happening. This is before I ever spoke there. I kept watching people that I knew were genuinely being touched by the Lord. They were in the river. Lives were being transformed. and I knew it was God. And I kept thinking, what is the key? What is, what is causing or allowing this to happen any more than anywhere else? And one of the things that I came to believe was that they, they got rid of every box they had put God in and they got rid of the clock. So when they prayed for somebody and they'd say, hey, where are we? You don't have to act like you're being slain in the spirit. You know I mean, if, you just, if you're feeling the presence of the Lord and you just wanna lay down or let the person catch you so you can just lay there and soak in his presence, you don't have to act like you're out. And so, People would do that. You, know, you see them be prayed for, and then they just kind of, you know, they just kind of relax. Somebody would lay them down. But the person praying for them would stay there for 25, 30 minutes and put their hand on them and just say, touch them, Lord. Give them more. Come on, Lord. Let the river flow. The volume wouldn't increase. There was, there was no <clears throat> authority thing, you know, that and I thought, what is, what is it? And I just, and finally I realized, they just take their time and let God just keep 